Sunday Mass on sacred ground. Christians have been praying here in the Moor Gabriel Monastery Chapel for more than 1,600 years. The small congregation of Syrian Orthodox Christians in southeastern Turkey are not alone in considering this unimposing place a second Jerusalem. The monastery lies on a high plateau, the Tur Abdin, which means Mountain of the Servants of God. Every year, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims come here. But most of the Syrian Orthodox population has left the region over the last 50 years, driven away by discrimination and the violence between Kurdish rebels and the Turkish state. Only the monks have remained, behind the monastery walls. But now the monastery is in danger. The surrounding Kurdish villages and the state forestry authority have filed several legal suits, accusing the order of illegally occupying the land. The monks say the conflict could be politically motivated. The monastery has no income of its own. The abbots live from donations and from agriculture on the surrounding land. If the monastery loses that too, then it will have dire consequences for the monastery's existence. Without these lands, the monastery will not be able to survive over the long term. The disputes were triggered by surveying work. The legal proceedings are attracting attention in Europe. Politicians have expressed concern about religious freedom for Christians in Turkey. Legally, the situation for Syrian Orthodox Christians has improved in Turkey in recent years. In this church complex in the city of Midyat, children are taught in Aramaic, the ancient language Jesus is supposed to have spoken. Up to the 1990s, such Christian religious instruction would have been illegal in Turkey. We can maintain this instruction only thanks to donations from Europe. The Turkish state merely tolerates us. The foreign donations cover the cost of printing our school books. Today, more and more Syrian Orthodox Christians are returning to their homeland and building new villages in the Tur Abdin region in Turkey. Jakob Gabriel returned from Switzerland with his wife 10 years ago. He now wants to turn his large house into a hotel. Now that fighting between Kurdish rebels and the Turkish army has subsided, increasing numbers of tourists are visiting Tur Abdin. When the Gabriels first left for Europe, they thought they would never return here. When we fled to Europe, we were leaving for good. But after a few years, our people got organized in Europe and thought about how we could manage to return. And step by step, we have. Jakob Gabriel has also invested in a wine pressing house, thereby reviving an Aramaic tradition thousands of years old. The Turkish state has even subsidized the project. The affluence of many Christian returnees has aroused envy in many poor Kurdish villages in Tur Abdin. These people live from raising livestock. And they complain that the Moor Gabriel Monastery has taken their traditional pastures. They insist that their lawsuits have nothing to do with religious animosity. We have always extended our hand for a compromise on the pastures. But they refused. Nonetheless, we showed restraint, because they are a minority. The Syrians said to us, we have money and influence, you can't win against us. OK, we said, but we have Allah on our side. The monastery has won some of the lawsuits and lost others. Now more Gabriel's attorney has called on the European Court of Justice. In the 1990s, the walls around the monastery's lands were raised and broadened for security reasons. No one had any objections. 
But 10 years later, suddenly they say the walls ran illegally through the forest. There are even criminal proceedings against the chairman of the monastery foundation. Crosses on churches and the monastery are alight once again in Tur Abdin. But the land dispute is a sour note in the new beginning for the Syrian Orthodox Christians in Turkey.